You don't break into the major leagues uh, as a number one or two starter, usually. I mean, it's a, the rare exception that that happens. So you know with young pitchers, they're going to have to emerge and, and gain the necessary experience. And you certainly have to uh, protect them uh, early on their careers. And uh, you want to build a pitching staff that uh, can be successful over 162 games. And so to do that, you're going to need at least uh, seven or eight uh, quality starters within your organization organization that can get you through 162. So that's the way we try to manage it and prepare uh, for the season. And I like the fact that uh, we have uh, some quality depth, but there's no doubt with young pitchers, uh, you got to be a little more cautious. I think it's, it certainly has a, a much, uh, much better feel uh, going into 2014. We felt uh, that this group of uh, players gained some uh, necessary and quality experience in 2013. They went through a lot of adversity early, and uh, they performed uh, very consistently in a, in a winning fashion uh, in the second half. And I think that quality experience has is, is not only motivated them, but given them a lot of confidence going into 2014. And it's a group of players that have prepared together. They've won together in the minor leagues. They've transitioned to the major leagues and experienced a, a lot of the ups and the downs. And uh, we feel that uh, the changes uh, that we were able to make this offseason, the additions that we were able to make uh, is going to uh, certainly make us a more consistent baseball team. And, you know, that being said, I expect us to, um, to get out of the gate good and compete from the first day or the last day.